I'm Marcel Fontenot and this is a look at headlines from the KTC newsroom for this Wednesday, April 13th. A new Iberia woman is no longer a suspect in a fight outside of a restaurant this past weekend. Police say after reviewing new video, they determined the woman was actually trying to break up that fight. Now, so far, one person has been arrested, Kayla Warner, facing an attempted first degree murder charge in connection to the fight that left a woman with serious injuries. Meanwhile, police are still looking for two other suspects who are wanted on the same charge of attempted first degree murder. While police are still searching for three people wanted in connection with a chase that ended with shots fired at the Mamu police chief. Now, the chief was not hit. According to beliefs, the chief was responding to a shots fired call. That call led to a chase that ended in St. Landry Parish, where police say one of the people inside of a car got out and opened fire. Two others who were also inside ran off. Well, in much lighter news, Louisiana is looking for the next king or queen of seafood. The 15th annual Louisiana Seafood Cook-Off will be held in June at the Cajun Dome Convention Center. Chefs from across the state who meet the requirements are asked to submit their applications by May 6th. You can find more information as well as a link for the entry form at KTC.com. And turning now to weather, Rob, you're watching some activity on the radar, right? That's right. We do have a tornado watch in effect for a good portion of Acadiana through 10 o'clock this evening. But it's going to be in and out those severe storms if we have them. Severe warnings off to our north and east, but nothing at this hour as of this recording. As we put the radar satellite composite in motion, uh, we'll notice the showers and strong storms, strongest of which in the northern Acadiana parishes and we'll be watching this activity as it tries to push on through during the course of the evening hours. Here's uh, the predictive radar showing those showers and storms impacting most of Acadiana through the evening hours up until about midnight or so and we could have not only locally very heavy downpours but the possibility of damaging winds and maybe an isolated tornado, maybe some hail as well. Those storms beginning to clear the extreme southeastern parishes prior to daybreak on our Thursday and then we go into Thursday. Thursday. It's going to be a pretty nice day, although latest model trying to bring in some high clouds. Overall, it's not looking too bad. Here's the hour by hour forecast. All the weather happening this uh, Wednesday evening as we head into your Thursday. We'll bottom out near 57 or 58 for a low and then tomorrow we'll see lots of sunshine and temperatures topping out upper 70s to near 80 degrees. So good looking weather ahead. Some showers Friday, maybe a few this weekend. We'll talk more about that in the next weather segment, so we'll see you then.